So, so we're on the train to York. We're gonna drink some beer, see some sights, but mainly drink some beer. <laughs> Let's check it out. Please speak to a member of staff or text the British Transport Police on 61016. So, the drink I've got here is called Tinted Meadow. It's an English Trappist Ale. Now, there's only 12 Trappists in the world. Uh, this one in Leicester, England, is the newest. Uh, it's a 7.4, very strong ale. It's brewed by the monks. It's a non-profit beer, which means any money that's made goes back into the abbey where the monks blew it. Anything after that goes back into the community. So it's quite a, quite a good idea. Uh, they had to get permission from the pub to start brewing it as well. So that's something. Pub's the right sessioner, isn't he? He, he really is. He really is. Uh, it's a strong ale. It's got that, that spice, spicy kick to it as well. It's lovely. <laughs> we will shortly be arriving at York. If you are leaving the train, please make sure you take all your personal belongings with you. Right, I'm drinking some Oktoberfest beer. It's not Oktoberfest beer. Das as Sparta! We've arrived at York. The next stop is the pub. Well, the toilet first, but then the pub, I promise. Welcome to York. The cholera burial ground. So, specially acquired for the burial of some of the 185 victims of a plague of cholera which lasted from 3rd of June to 22nd of October 1832. There are 20 surviving memorial stones, all of sandstone. Interesting. Here's a little bit of history for you. There was a siege at York. 1644 on the 16th of July and this is where the Royalists surrendered the city after three months of siege to the besieging parliamentary forces at this point the terms of the surrender were generous and it was due to Fernando Fairfax and his son Thomas Fairfax second and third Lords Fairfax of Cameron that the city was preserved from destruction and um, that's good for us because, let's face it, York's awesome. Yeah, so there's a little bit of information, Micklegate Bar, about the siege. Um, I don't think I'll go into too much detail in this video, but I really like this picture here. Bite him, Pepper! Go! Go! To him, Poodle! Yeah, we use dogs to fight the battles by the looks of it. So you get the idea. 
the wall goes all the way around the city. It's enough exercise for me. I need to sit down and get myself a drink. So we've just checked into the room and it is pretty nice. It's pretty big, as you can see. I did a little bit of a panoramic shot before, but you've got your own little kitchen area, you've got a really fancy toilet, lovely beds we've got as well. Let me show you this. Our own private patio terrace, which I think I shall be enjoying later on. Legion established the city in 71 AD and it has played a prominent part in the history of Britain for centuries. It was first captured by the Vikings in November 866 AD by Ivor the Boneless and the Great Heathen Army. The Vikings were in Jorvik for almost 100 years until the Viking Kingdom became part of England in 954 AD after the Reformation of the Kingdom of Northumbria. So outside the pub Valhalla or Valhul in Old Norse, which means Hall of the Slain, is a majestic hall located in Asgard and ruled over by the god Odin. In Valhalla, the dead join the Einherjar. I don't know how to pronounce that, I hope it's right. Those who have already died weirdly in combat. And this pub pays homage to our city's Viking heritage. So, to explain the bees we've got, this one here, that uh, cat boat, is just called the Valhalla IPA. I haven't tried them yet, just thought I'd tell you what they were now. The one I've got is called Odin's Judgment. I'm very much looking forward to having a little try, and I think I'll do that now actually. Ooh, that's nice. Very flavourful. Flavorful. Yeah, have a try. It's dark. It's dark. It's very stouty. Very stouty, yeah. I think it's stout. It's got like chocolate hints. Chocolate hints. I'm not very good at explaining beers. I just like the look of them. I like the taste of them. I like the way they taste. Yeah. You try yours. Let's try yours. Let's try yours. Let's try yours. I mean, you, you try yours first, just because uh, you'll, be, you'll be. Thank first. you. How does that taste? What does that taste like? Um, very, very light. Very, very, very light. Very light ale, not very fizzy. Mm, not very fizzy, so... Nice little balls on Smooth. Mm. Just smooth. I think that was quite smooth as well. Try Let's it have a try. Mm, I'll have a try. It. <sighs> mm. Yeah, yeah, I can, I, can, I can get what you explained there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we're not very good at this. <laughs> So, Vikings usually drink from the skulls of their enemies in Valhalla. We don't have skulls of our enemies, we have the next best thing. Horns, made from bison. Water bison, I believe. And this is Lancashire mead in a horn. It's bloody good. Bloody good. Cheers.
So our next stop is called Pivney. Pivney. I don't know how to pronounce it. World Beer Free House. Yeah. I'll just put that one there. <laughs> Let's check it out. So, Kat has bought what's called, uh, can you pronounce that? Wehen Stefan. Stefan, something like that. The world's oldest brewery since 1040. That's like, that's like since, that was even before Hastings, that bad, yeah, no, that was just, just, just before that, but that was like, <laughs> that, that's an old, old brewery. The world's oldest brewery. What I've bought is it's called subliminal message subliminal message and i've tried a bit of it but for the sake of uh facebook or whatnot it's very tarty lemony it's got a lot of lemon to it very very tasty <laughs> <laughs> what does that one taste like, honey? It's just a good German beer. It's a good German beer. It's a good German beer. Sweet, cloudy. Sweet, cloudy. Smooth. Smooth. Like, just nice. Just, just like nice. good German beer. So, like any German beer, I would recommend... Leidenstetter! <laughs> Very good. This one's nice as well. Lovely pub. <laughs> so we've had a few drinks already, but we've got to get ourselves to this wonderful cocktail bar, which is called the Evil Eye. Uh, take a look at that. We're going to check this place out and see what's got in store. Yep. Why not? Might as well. So I usually get beers, I usually like my beers, but this particular place, Evil Eye, apparently specialises in cocktails, so I've got myself a cocktail. Cocktail! Cocktail! Uh, this particular one that I've got, it's called, what was it called? It's called We Are Not A Gin Bar. Um, I think it's... A bunch of vodka with a little bit of coffee and stuff like that. Something to perk you up. It looks lovely. Um, it's got a straw. I don't think I need the straw. I'm being environmentally friendly. I'm going to ditch the straw. But yeah, let's have a try of it. It's actually quite. <laughs> it's, it's quite good for a cocktail. Usually you get these little poncy glasses, but it's all right. Yeah. Um, That tastes really good. That is a stupidly good cocktail. It's just like it, it, it's got a it's got a coffee kick to it, but it's got that sweetness to it as well. I've got oh my little, god! That is I've got a little shorty. What's yours called? I've got a little shorty. Is that like rumble in the jungle or something? No, 
Ooh. Rumble in the ghetto or... Rumble in the ghetto. Rumble in the ghetto. Because I'm gangster like that. Because you're gangster like that, exactly. That looks lovely as well, actually. <laughs> I, don't, I, I just imagine this is... The one I've got, I, I don't know, I, I feel like it... I, I don't know, it, it doesn't look like a cocktail. It's not a cocktail, it's just some monstrosity. It's just been <laughs> thrown together with some vodka and coke with a little bit of coffee. I don't know. I'll probably end up... What about mine? Well, yours looks, looks fantastic. Mine's very nice. It's like basically a rum coke with black currant. But that shit good. A rum and coke and black currant. That shit is good though. It is, that is really good. Yeah, well, I'm protecting the environment. I'm protecting the environment. I've, 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 I've thrown away my straw. I'm going to recycle my straw because it's it's bad. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> well, this kind of shit here. It's like a, a pint. It's like a pint of cocktail. <laughs> a pint of. I've got a pint of cocktail right here. Yeah, evil eye. It was, like six pounds, something or something it like was that, stupid. Yeah. It was a stupid price, but it for, was, co- for it a was, cocktail, it was okay. It was your money's worth for a cocktail. Anyway, evil eye. Check it out. So it's the morning, and we're at the Minster. We're not going to do as much pubs today I don't think. Well we'll see where we go. Uh, but we're just going to have a little walk around and see the church, have a look at the scenery. It's quite sunny, it's quite warm so uh, let's see where the day takes us. So this absolute mad lad is Constantine the Great and he was proclaimed Roman Emperor in 306 AD and his recognition to the civil civil liberties of his Christian subjects and his own conversion to the faith established the religious foundations of Western Christendom. So yeah. And he lived between 274 and 337 BC. Is it AD? Yeah, and he looks like an absolute cool as chill mofo with his sword and just sitting back and relaxing. He's swag like, hasn't he? Yeah. Look at him sitting there. <laughs> what a mad lad. So, we're at the Shambles. Um, it's the world's most preserved medieval street. Um, you can kind of see where J.K. Rowland got her inspiration for Diagon Alley. Uh, we're going to go down and, and take a look. <laughs> Diagon Alley! You're a wizard, Harry. There will be no foolish wand-waving or silly incantations in this class. Master has given Dobby a sock. What? I can... Master has presented Dobby with clothes. Dobby is free. Cornelius, I implore you to see reason. The evidence that the Dark Lord has returned. Expecto Patronum! The Scots! The Scots are coming! We must defend the ramparts! To the walls! So, this behind me is Clifford's Tower. The, the original Mott and Bailey castle on this site was erected by William the Conqueror. The present tower, usually described as the Great Tower, was built between 1245 and 1262 by order of King Henry III. Um, this particular piece of land was transferred to York City Council in 1988 for the pricely sum of one pound. A little bit of an interesting history for you there. Let us check it out now. <laughs> This 
is what they call the King's View and you can kind of see why because you can pretty much see everything up here <laughs> Definitely a ghost. <gasps> OMG. <laughs> trying to tell us something. This is evidence, this is proof. It's definitely not because the table's slanted at all. It's definitely because it's moving by itself. So, now we're in one of York's famous haunted pubs, the Golden Fleece. Got myself a Feekston's. I know it's quite dark in here, but it's quite nice. Nice smooth beer. Hair with a dog. Now, the Golden Fleece, a little bit of history on it. Uh, the Golden Fleece was mentioned in the York City archives as far back as 1503. The garden, um, which is outside, I don't know if we'll be going out today, it's named after Alice Peckett, which is the wife of John Peckett, who owned the premises as well as being the Lord Mayor of York in around 1702. So this building here, you can kind of see, it's an old one. Um, it was built with a wooden frame and no foundations. This makes the floors, ceilings and doorways in places a little bit crooked. That's probably why they think it's haunted. Um, some of the ghosts. Uh, so there's five, five ghosts of the Golden Fleece. There's Lady Alice Peckett, who is said to be found roaming endless corridors and staircases. There's Jeff Munro, who's located on the third floor. There's One-Eyed Jack, who's mostly sighted in the bottom bar. One-Eyed Jack is said to be dressed in the red coat. Um, he's best, yeah, supposed to be dressed in a red coat. There's the Grumpy Old Man, which I'm sure you can find plenty of them here anyway, but apparently there's a ghost called Grumpy Old Man. And he's sighted in the bottom bar, and then there's a small child, which is immediately behind the entrance of the pub, where the youngest of the ghosts have been most commonly sighted. We had a nice ghost move in our couple of years before, so we'll see if we'll have any more of that. But it's a charming place, I recommend it if you're ever in New York. So, we're actually in the former home of the world's most celebrated terrorist, Guy Fawkes. It's the Guy Fawkes Inn. It's got a nice selection of beers. Um, I went for a cider this time. I went for an Aspel. I know it's pretty standard, but, you know, needs must and all. Uh, Guy Fawkes, for those who don't know, obviously you all know, he was the leader of what was called the Gunpowder Plot, which was in 1605, which was a plot to kill the king, which is King James, and obviously it failed, but the reason he tried it is because there was a lot of anti, he was a Catholic, and there was a lot of anti-Catholic laws going on at the time, so they had to practice the Catholicism in secret, he obviously didn't like that, so he thought he would just, you know, blow up the place where all the rules were being made, along with the rule makers. Um, obviously he was found out, tortured, and now we have fireworks to celebrate them for some reason, I don't know. But anyway, the beer is nice, so. So, I've just been made aware by some lovely Scottish lady <laughs> that I look a little bit like Newt Scamander. <laughs> Unironically, because I bought this, this scarf, which I really like, because I'm apparently I'm a Gryffindor. Um, and a few weeks ago I also bought this bag. I just like the bag, but apparently it's Newt Scamander's bag, and now I look like Newt Scamander. So, there we go.
So, well, that's the old Stalin. The reason I say the and not ye is because, and here's a history in the English language, the Y is not a Y at all. It's actually uh, an ancient runic symbol, which was what's called a thorn. So anything back in the day that was called ye was actually pronounced the because of that. Um, the, I don't know where the letter Y came from, but it was. It looked the same anyway. But any any pub which says ye old, it's actually the old. Uh, this is actually the oldest licensed pub in York. I think it was opened from the, um, 1644. I had to read that. You can tell I read that. Uh, the beer I'm having here is just called Halloween beer or Halloween beer. And it's quite nice, it's quite s smooth. It's like. Yeah, it's, it's got quite a citrus, citrus flavour to it. It's quite nice, there's a good selection of beers here as well. Um, another place to go to in New York. And we're about to have food here as well, which is always good. Cheers. Well, we've come to the end of our journey, come to the end of our trip in York. Uh, we're currently at the York Tap, which is the train station brewery, which I must admit is probably one of the best train station pubs you'll ever find anywhere. The beer selection here is insane. Um, I've got myself a, a Bad Seed uh, Dalliance, it's called. Uh, it's an IPA, it's a very smooth IPA. Quite, quite flavourful as well, but it goes down an absolute treat. Loads to choose from here. I hope you've enjoyed my little video that I've gave you. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've, as I've enjoyed making it. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, this is the end of the road. Uh, this has been Pub Walk with a little bit of history. Take care. Thank you very much.